Anyway, hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are doing great today. Now, hi guys. Hi guys. Anyway, so I feel like really do I re anyway moving on. Moving right along. I want to introduce it. <laughs> what if you have new subbies who don't know who I am? Hi, new subbies. Then. So, yeah, anyway, this is Yanela. Hi, guys, and welcome Hi, to Hi, Yanela Unjanimdas. Yo, Betunan. Hey, Betunan. Two syllabes. We are Pilek. So, what's that team? Back like a girl. You make me sick. Anyway, so I called her through because you know it's that time again where we have to analyze, dissect, and look at what's been happening because we weren't there. Okay, but see me and didn't invite us, but we still gonna talk about it. That's anyway, um, yesterday was it yesterday. Yeah, was it Sunday? Sunday was uh the Verb Clico. Yes. Polo um, event happening in Cape Town. So we are going to be looking at what our celebrities and our influencers were wearing mm -hmm, on the mm -hmm. day. Um, it was a sunny day in Cape Town and people looked beautiful. A lot of them, I feel like most of them looked pretty here. They were gorgeous. Like, we can't really critique Ubu Soba or anyway, In terms of like, makeup yes, and like, everything, I feel like... I, I feel like everybody was like on par, like people who yeah. looked cute. But obviously... Um, yeah, and that's why we're having this video so we can have a discussion. Okay. Please don't drag us. Also, <laughs> these opinions are purely of about our the own outfit and about the outfit. About There's the outfit. Nothing personal about it. So. So that's basically what we're going to be doing. I don't even know why it had to this had to become a long intro, but anyway, we're here now. So let's just jump straight into the look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the first look is Linda Mtoba, which I feel like is a fan fave. She's also a fave of mine, especially she for is, like events. Is, like is. the girl pulls through. Like she never disappoints, and um, that's and knows how to execute e in don don zaki to make sure that like especially exactly. for her Instagram. Like well, Linda yes. does not go wrong with creating yeah. content for her yeah. Instagram. So she creates a storyline type of vibe. Yeah, like, you get to understand like with the intent behind the garment. True. If true. it was meant to be like an old Hollywood noba, in fact, you hadn't seen it. But like she will create other things around the comments you to to, to wow, what is happening yeah. you get what i'm saying and i like this look like i think it's very like day appropriate or polo appropriate and the theme for this year's polo was um french chic or something like that parisian chic parisian chic yeah so i feel like it's very subtle parisian women are not too big on like cleavage and being yes. very they're yes. very like yes. eh, where they can wear like short dresses or whatever but like they're not very and i also yeah. feel like i think i saw someone on twitter who posted a picture of what the like a few collages of what the actual yeah i think it was, was. Uh, i think it was vicky um Ujil. Eh, well, basically how the theme is supposed to be translated and you would see that those ladies are very simple yeah they're very I'm walking down the street. Like daytime vibes. I'm very daytime vibes. I wouldn't walk down the street in a six foot long train type of thing. Yeah. So I think for Uli and Dan, number one, I like the color. It looks yeah. fresh on her. It looks like, hey guys, yeah, Milan and weather. Yeah. I think also with this look, I think she took pointers from her sun made look. Uh -huh. Where this could have had the potential to look like the sun made look, but because everyone was talking about how churchy the length of her skirt was. So I think also the her having a shorter skirt was more intentional in terms of I'm giving you guys something similar but not quite, so I'm gonna take it a little bit shorter. So yeah. I think for that I like how she was like we think it's Yeah. Okay, then the next look is from Blue Mbombo. Um, what, do you, what do you think about her look? Um, I like Blue's look, and mm -hmm. I actually think if we're gonna do a top, are we gonna do a top? What, what? Yeah, we are. Okay, so she's one of my top. 
favorite looks. Okay. For by the virtue of number one, we all know that in South Africa we like to glamorize even the daytime events. Yeah. Which is I think something we can't run away from. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah, yeah Abantu will wear ball gowns to Apollo because that's just how South Africans are doing it and that's that on that. It's been happening for years. But I think with her, she made it, she had a bit of both. She looked yeah. very glamorous, but she also looked like she's not going to trip and fall while walking from one end of the race. Yeah, in the grass. To the, yeah, 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 which is grass. also something that's always problematic, especially if you've been to places like this where you realize that some, at any stage of the game you could trip and fall. So yeah. I think that for her, she did it quite nicely that, okay, I'm going to give you the glam. Yeah. I'm also gonna give you that it's daytime. Yeah. And I'm still cute. I'm still chilled and cute. Yeah. I really also like I really really like I like the um the neckline, like I like what's going on here with the feathers or whatever that thing is and the little pearls that she has going on. I really really like the detail of the dress and I like the fact that it was fun, it was very daytime hey, appropriate. Just... But still like I'm going to we are I feel like whenever we have to we take a theme, you always yeah. have to like interpret it and make it your own. And that's not to say that like it has to always be like dramatic. Yes, we can True. like have subtle like Uli Nam Toba. Uli Nam Toba's outfit was very subtle. Yes. But um, it was on theme. Still. It was on theme, uh, but I still like Blue's outfit, even though I wouldn't necessarily say it was on theme. But okay. it was. It wasn't on theme, but like she looked good. I hear and you. I'm not gonna chastise her for not being on theme. She looks good. There are people that can be on theme and in doing that be flattering. Exactly. At all, at all, at all. So. You know, like okay. <laughs> the next look is Kifilwe, Kifibu. I don't yes. think she goes by Kifibu. No, anymore. no, she's Kifilwe Mabot. Kifilwe Mabot. So, this is the um, polka dotty situation with the slit and a mesh situation. Okay, here. I'm sad. And I get where she was um, coming from. I didn't really see like a uh, like a full length picture. Uh, the is there a full length picture her, on her Instagram? On, okay, yes. I get like, the FBI is listening, guys. We're talking about Kiffy now. We're on Instagram. That's the first picture we, we see. saw. Ah, I'm sick of this sheet. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. They're I will not. say this with Kiffy. I think for one, she completely, like, she completely did a turnaround from the sun made look she gave. Like she came and she. What's the word I'm looking for? She redeemed herself. She redeemed herself. Yeah. From the sun, she was like, guys, this is actually the real Cliffy that you guys yeah, know. Yeah, because I feel like that, that was like a know. brand situation. Uh, wait, I don't like, think it was her, like, her own, if, like... On, on a court, I don't think yeah. she would want that to the sun, mate. But with this, I feel like that was her touch of, yeah. this is my style that you guys know me about. That theme speaks to Cliffy's Instagram feed. Yeah. yeah. And I actually think Cliffy is so much um, on theme because if you think of Paris, you always think of red lipstick, polka dots. Um, white shirts, denim jeans, flat shoes, or like a Simple little a scarf. Chabitic. Yeah, polka dots, and and that's why like she interpreted because maybe Parisian women would not wear something this risque, yeah. especially with the slit. But she took something from that culture and then she made it her own, I, which is yeah, it's perfect. I like it. I like it. I think it's she, a sexy dress is, during mm. the day. I love it. Um, who's uh who's this? Ukamo, kamo modi se, modi. Kamo modi se kengi. Modi se kengi. The things that you know, kamo modi se. Ukamo, ukamo is the slayer of polos Hima. and events. I um, actually like. I really, I, I follow this girl. Like, I think she's a really pretty girl. I really like yeah, her. Yeah, me too. I've actually interviewed her once. Um, and she's um, she's very sweet. Yeah, she looks like a sweet girl. But I don't like. I'm not seeing the outfit properly, but I from what it's I can see. It's a jumpsuit. I saw her on her stories. Um, she was moving it around like obviously she was trying to show because there's a lot of fabric there, so she yeah. was trying to illustrate by no each jumpsuit and she was moving her I legs around. I think also that's another thing about these um how, why we need photographers at these events that are really yeah. about capturing you in the moment and yeah. whatever. Because if I saw a picture of her walking in in the wind, I got yeah. I can see the whoops of the the white the jumpsuit. But from the Instagram picture that I'm looking at now, I don't think it was an outfit that's flattering to her, and it saddens me because she is a snatched. Yeah, of she she has a snatched body. She's always her my face top is three. At snatched, and she always looks like she always carries the, the the theme. And even if she doesn't, she always slays. Like her outfit is always like bomb ass. So um, I feel like from the top, like from like the tummy up. I feel like something could have been done. I'm just not sure about the situation here at the bottom. The embellishments and the yeah, pearls and, and I also I just the way how it like how it falls and how it looks. Like it's not ingati. It's not. It wasn't intended to look like this. Ingati. It was a okay, rush job. It was, it was just too much material. 
Yeah. And I, it's crazy that I say that because in the attendant, I like baggy things yeah. and things that are like flowy and whoopsie yeah. and all that. But I think for this one, maybe it looked a bit too... Yeah, it was too drowning. Yeah, it was. And but then, ultimately, because the are being. Yeah, that's why we're saying like most of these girls, they looked gorgeous. Face gorgeous. So they were being like, "I'm going to." And then when they say, "When I go to Pablo Longo," you're actually dragging other people. When I go to Pablo Longo, I'm going to go to Pablo Longo. 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 I'm going to go um, oh, Jessica Ngozi. Ah. Jessica Ngozi, my ultimate fave. I feel like this outfit was not a bad outfit. I just wish that it was not worn for this particular event. Which, and I can tell you, I can I can back it up. This So last year, I went to the Champagne Festival in Franschhoek. Mm -hmm. And when I left the house, I was actually wearing a sparkling dress, like a sequin dress, just like this, but mm -hmm. mine was black. Mm -hmm. Midway, I literally felt... I felt like it's just too much for a daytime event and yeah. I asked the car to turn around yeah. and then I went, I wore like a simple pants and yeah. like a shirt and when I got there I was so grateful that I changed my outfit because mm. everyone is so chilled yeah. and everything is just so laid back yeah. and this sequence makes it seem like you were trying to do too much and when yeah. you get to those spaces where you feel like it's too much you get uncomfortable not saying she was uncomfortable but yeah. I feel like it was too... It, it was glitterati. too nighty and glitterati for a daytime event especially but your night outfit i can't fault it but it's just i wish it wasn't worn at that time of the day if you get what i mean because okay. i'm sure there were night parties that they could have attended and she could have come thrown it on yeah. yeah yeah i get you so you know what i feel i feel like and yazi ingati this this looks very last minute to me i don't know why okay. i feel like this was a dress and then she was like Honestly, ah, I obviously don't it could know. Be a dress. Yeah, it looks like a dress. It looks like like last year, towards the end of the year. When it, when was that Benini party? If you end went to Zara, year. this was all you saw. Like I, okay, glitter dresses <laughs> everywhere. I feel like Ingati she bought one of those dresses and then she was like, oh, like because obviously it would look so basic if she had just worn the dress by itself. True. So she decided to wear pants, which I completely get. I would totally do this look. This is a a good look it's not a bad look it's functional it's yeah just, I yeah know, I but and i also I feel know. like uh, when she's not posing when she doesn't have her hands on her hips okay the look doesn't translate it looks very like clumpy and like because there were other pictures that other people took which i feel like don't do that those are the worst pictures <laughs> ever the pictures that you don't take yourself will always look worse. Because Amanda will not be cognizant of the fact uh, well, And they don't want to get you, like, not yeah. that they don't want to, but, like, they don't care for, like, your angles or yeah, whatever. Yeah, so, I get you, I get you. it just, it did not look right. And I don't like an outfit where you have to constantly have to be shift and shift. Yeah, like, you want to be like, nip and tack because you're not comfortable and I feel like mm -hmm. maybe this is what was happening, but I could completely be wrong because I feel like I can see this look elsewhere like in plan b if it was like a new event yeah 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 what do you call this a, a diamond, a diamond walk. Walk. Okay. i could completely see this look i hear you you know you. and then the next one is celeste which i completely loved oh celeste kumal oh okay okay miss, i know her miss, I... uh miss team love it i love it i feel like she she this is when whenever like you would google those ladies exactly. this is the picture that would come up Cycle. The straw hat, the simple dress, but like with a little bit of some some. Obviously, maybe not that much cleavage, but like, sweetie, where are we? I love it. I love it. It's actually the first time seeing this look, but as I'm looking at it, I completely get it. You are. I love it so much. On theme, on weather, on everything. It's not too much. It's not too little. It. It's not too little because of the ruffle on the neck because I feel like if she maybe had like ease straps Then we saw the straps We take a piece M actually look at it H&M or something But I like the ruffle on the neck I like her straw hat I'm not sure about the bag I'm not too crazy about the bag But But I'm not an accessory person so That's the last thing I would look at About red, about funny Yeah, yeah And on top of that I feel like this is such a masculine Like it's such a bag It's heavy If it was something small and huge Eh, with like something dainty and like daytime Like I would carry this to like a meeting Okay, I hear what you're saying It looks like a winter bag Okay, something like eh 
in a way to my functional bag eh, where for this thing like uh, if she had like a small dainty or even like a straw bag or any one of those yeah but you get what i mean i hear what you say yeah i like everything I about like it, it. I, I like i'm also gonna put her in my top list i think she's one of my favorites too. okay and then the next one is unomzam i think this is was unomzam's second look i or think her first it was the first look? look when she was i think when she was saying that she's prepping and ready to host Okay, and then that was the look where she was hosting, hosting which okay. was at the event. So the first look, I'm not gonna say much about it because I think it was a um, partnership with a line that's gonna drop with H and M. So I'm guessing it was a okay. pre. Okay. It's I think the line is dropping in March, so it was a pre thing of yeah. It's gonna you guys are gonna see it soon. I can't wait for you guys to actually be able to shop the look. So I I don't. It wasn't really like her yeah. Look. It wasn't really her look. So so maybe it was like that Giffy and Sarah's look. Yes. At the, yes. Uh, what was this? At the sunmet. At the sunmet. Yes. So. So I skip a little. So the real look again, which okay. I loved. Let's go to the real look. I really liked this look. I could ask Zami like, guys, but now we have to go. I bo. I yes. And as a host, because I feel like as a host, you can't look like everybody Everyone else, is. and it's it's dramatic. Yes. It like, is. but it's not like a long wedding gown. You like know what I think train. saves this look a lot? The fact that it's pants. Yeah. Because if, it, if was it was a dress, dress it would look very, ile, very. Um, ile, kala, ile, mm, mm, I feel like it would be very and, red carpet. And the tassels and everything. Be very this red is very carpet. red carpety. And yeah, like it's bottle. Like, just. It was just. It was just. Just. Right. Yeah. And it was just. If she could have done. Guys, I mean, honestly, if this was a dress, we would have been like, yeah, I need to be a red carpet. But one? honestly, I feel like this was perfect, especially considering the fact that she is the host. Yes. So she's not going to look like Tina. Any other regular schmegger hey, girl. When she has to look some, you know, yes. and that's what I'm talking about. Especially with color guys, in daytime events, they need you to be very particular yeah. and very, thought, very light, thoughtful very... about the look that you're going for. So her color is... Oh. If this was dark green, it would look too um, <clears throat> red carpety and serious. serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would. It would. I am. Nomzamo, I think you look beautiful. She and looks also, really nice. You did the usual what the Nomzamo trademark, which is the tete. Yeah, of course she has. What to is show Nomzamo the, the little tebu? She girl. has to show, and I like yes. the fact that it wasn't clivovo like on top this time. She tries and find like. Different, angle. different ways different to angles to moves and I <laughs> like that she's been creative about them because they're gorgeous. I would also want to show them off. Wheel. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then the next one is Miss Ayanda Tabete. Miss, I, Miss Ayanda Face Tabete because I feel like that's what she is. Now, this look. I'm not sure about it. I don't think it's a like horrendous, like oh my god, what the hell are you wearing? Yeah. But it's not her best look. But it's, it's not her worst look. I don't think she has a worst look. I don't. I, yeah, I can't. I, I can't be confused. But I no, will tell you I, you what know, I feel. I feel she would have. She could have done without the top layer of the half. The half. Um, yes, the dress. Top. The dress on, like, if she only, like, if that thing went all the way down. If that thing all went all the way down, if they really want it on. Yeah. I feel like she could have done without it. And if, like, look, even with whoops, even a structure, okay, but forget that. What's that thing that people used to um, yes, wear? Yes, yes, yes. The petticoat. The, the structural that, that thing. Structure, thing uh, like, like, the Victorian structural yes. thing. If yeah, that dress could have like, had that thing yeah. and without the top layer, I feel like she would have easily been one of my top because I like the color, I like her accessories, I like her face, her makeup. Was I like impeccable. her makeup. I like I liked everything except for that top layer. I also like the hair, um the the head accessory. I like the floral situation. And I like the top half of the dress. I feel like it's very um mm, it's it's very, like it's very like it's very cute. It's very daytime. It's very Okay. Daytime. Next we have Legend. Oh. Iveteran. The lover of my soul. Oh, she's been doing red carpets for I don't know how long, this lady. And she usually has it. Sometimes people don't pay attention to her, but she really has yeah. some nice red carpet looks. looks. But hi, and yes, It's not a. I feel like it's not a bad look, but like it's just inappropriate. And I can tell you. So I met. Oh, we're talking about Tembi. Yes. We, oh my God, we forgot to say. It's a legend. It's a This is Tembi Siete. So Tembi, I actually met Tembi at the a, at another polo, which was. I think oh time flies it was three years ago oh. and ooh. that's my 
<laughs> Yuki Kashalia Malega, and she looked breathtaking. She was wearing a white outfit as well, mm-hmm. and it was short and uh, not short, but it was like um, T length in a little KPF flowy flowy. Mm-hmm. And I think that was so appropriate that if she wore that similar style to yeah. this, she would have also like knocked it out the park. This one for me is also a bit too. Um, Red carpety. It's too a uh, woman. It's too a dramatic. If she, she could have worn this to Somizi's wedding, and I would have been okay with that because completely that was the theme of the wedding. Like completely. look like a bride. Uh, What's wrong? On the wall. And then the last one is Cynthia Gue Bo. Cynthia Gue Bo. The synth. The synth. Yes. <laughs> the OG. I love this look. I love the shoes. I love the dress. I like the hair. I don't like the bag. And I like the bag. Elsewhere, like, yes, <laughs> elsewhere, yes. not not with this look. This is what I was referring to when I say we need to have a conversation about these bags. Yes, yes, like, yes, yes, yes. This is how I feel about uh, Celeste. No, Celeste and Ayanna Tavares uh, bag. bag. Okay. This is okay. literally how I feel. It's the same vibe. I feel like even Celeste was like even better. Even Ayanna Tavares, like this, like the bag does not go laid back out. But okay. I love Perfect. the dress. I love how laid back it is. I like that she's actually. I think these are like kitten heels. I think I'm not sure about the structure of the heel. Whether it's like a chunky heel or like a a stiletto or it's some something. stiletto ish. I think because I think mm-hmm. I remember her when she had just bought them. Yeah. And but I like the fact that they are them. kitten heels. Yeah, and wait. it's not like. I feel like it's so day appropriate. Like this look is perfect. She's so she's on theme. The event, guys. Everything is just perfect. Also, she's not too over the top, but she's not too done under. Yes. She... This is how this is how you dress to a polo. According, According to theme. <laughs> <laughs> According to Accordingly. <laughs> but I and like we were saying, well, you don't necessarily like it's not bad for you to dress exactly on theme, but I would not be like Uplu is not well dressed. Yeah. For even though it was not on theme, but I, I would look and yeah say I would still say Uplu looks better than Cynthia. Even though Uplu might maybe not be as yeah. on theme as her, but I feel like Cynthia was so on theme. She looked very easy. She looked very chilled. It was day appropriate. She knew that she was going to be yes. somewhere sipping on champagne yes, for the whole day. day. And Gushu, Gushu, on top of the theme because this is very like uh, Parisian yeah. and all of that type of stuff. So big ups to Cynthia. I think she 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 executed on the mission and that's it. She nailed it. When I'm a nailed, 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 nailed it. She did it. So um, now we are going to round it up and. Zima. To, I feel like let's do a top two. Yo, top, top two, two is hard. Top it's two is hard. Crunch time. Not top three. Not top five. Boom, boom. Top two. Your two best dressed. Your two like when you look at them, you're like, I, I would, see I, it. Oh, I. I yeah, see it. I see, like, I see the I'm with. I'm with you. I see the vision. Can we have an honorary mention? We can have that we both agree on. Okay. Okay, we'll have to discuss this. Yeah, we'll have to like deliver it. So like, let's do your top two and okay. then my top two and okay. then we put it together and then have an honorary mention. Okay, 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 cool. So I'm gonna start with my top two. So my as does it have to be in like a specific order, like no, number two or no, just no, no, like just two, two people, people that you Okay. But they are the top. Yeah, so my top two would definitely have to be Giffy. Okay. That um, I feel like for me, she she did it like it was very simple. It was very on theme, and it also like it it was interpreted well. Yeah. It wasn't cut and paste from what you saw on Google and like translated it. Um, it was it was beautifully, you know, like executed. executed. I really really liked it, and it was very like um, flattering to her body, yeah. which I really really liked. And then the other one would have to be Celeste for me. Okay, okay. I would definitely okay. go for Celeste. I loved her dress. I loved 
I basically like the simplicity of the outfits, but then there's still like a little bit of flair. Like you okay. still had to do a little some some because we are not in Paris, we are in South Africa. You're a South African girl, and you're going to a South African event, and it's not the polo that you go to on every other weekend because sometimes I feel like these polo events overseas or in a culture where polo is a thing they you go to every time. other like so obviously you're not going to be like in glitter and all whatever the time, all, the time. all the time every weekend so this is a polo that happens it's a social event and it's like important in the social calendar so yeah. I feel like those girls both did it well like they were not too much but they still like made sure that they came through like looking cute and you know but together so I, yeah i think i in think the history i think of our I it. collaboration this will be the first time we actually completely agree really and i'll tell you why because i was actually gonna pick what i was gonna pick blue as my as one of my top two mm -hmm. but then i realized that you know what in a in accordance with the with the event mm -hmm. the theme the setting yeah the everything I would actually go with Ukifi, Kifilwe, mm -hmm. and Celeste. Yeah. As well. I think. And then Uplu would be my honorary mention. I feel like for me that would also be the case. I won't mess with Oprah. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think that is it from us. Yes. Um, I really, really enjoyed shooting this video with you as always because I feel like. Yes, I miss sad. you. Oh, sit back. <laughs> I demand you and you demand me. That's the best. This is all, all we need. That is each all we other. need. We see each <laughs> other. <laughs> you make me sick. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, that is it. Let's wrap this up. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for supporting. Because I feel like you guys really really like our videos whenever we do a video together it like you guys are like yay and thank you so much for the support but yeah that is it for today if you guys did like this video make sure that you give it a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell sweetie so that you can get notified it's it's time. Time. It's it's we it's upload it. a video because it might be more than one <laughs> <laughs> Why are we like this? I feel like we choose, we could be anything in the world, but we choose to be ourselves. And I don't like that. I don't like that. And you tanned. And you tanned. Cut the camera.